Hello, I'm out here uh, just working on the sign bar for a few minutes. The only thing is I had to get a piece of coil spring straightened out and I had to wait for the weather to break. So I, I'll throw that up real quick. Now we'll get started. Well, the wind has finally died down, so I've got a pile of rod and everything else there shaped up for tool bits and everything else I want, so all that's left just to grind them to shape, and the big ones I'll take and stick in the lathe and make the rollers for the sign plate out of. So we'll get back to that. Okay, this is what I'm making it out of. I had pieces of track that's just real thin. It's this one's probably seven sixteenths inch. This one is like five eighths. I just cut the bottom off right here, and we'll start from there. The coil springs I got them straightened out. Not the straightest things in the world, but they'll work. But when you're starting from this, yeah, they're pretty rough looking. It's one inch diameter, so you can imagine how hard it is to move this stuff. And this is high carbon steel, which makes it even more difficult to move it. Or pound it out flat. But yeah, I'm just cutting that off and I'll use the bottom part here for the sign bar. Okay. Okay, I got one of the pieces of the one inch coil spring chucked up. I'm just, it's pretty rough, but it should be straight enough to get the thing turned around and still have 5 eighths rod coming out of it, so. Let's get started.
I'll let it cool down a little bit. It's almost there. So I'll just let it cool down and we'll come back. I'll work on the top part now for a little bit and then I'll come back and do this. Okay. I'm only back. I'm just cleaning out the bottom, just trying to get it all squared up and everything. I've got to get this area right here completely flat. Just mainly cosmetic, but yeah. Then I'll turn the vise 90 degrees indicated in and go at it. Just cut the places for the rollers to go. Uh, I just drilled two holes at four inches apart and used the belt sander to make sure to bevel each side. And whenever I did that, it I just kept I had my caliper set for 4.6 inches because these are six hundred thousandths. I was going to go five, uh, five eighths, but. It shrunk way too much on me, I just made it an even 600. So, what I'm doing is just going across, cleaning it up, and you may notice the discoloration. I had a tap break off on, on me, and the thing, right as I was putting the thing together. Yeah, it always seems to happen that way. But I. He did the whole thing up real hot and let it cool back down. Great thing about the Chinese taps, they're so junky, you heat them up and let them cool back down, they anneal themselves, you can drill right through them. So now everything's fixed. I'll get these leveled off and we'll do the top. Okay, got it all cleaned up. I had to heat it up because the tap broke off inside, so I tried heating it up to anneal it, and it worked fine. That's why it looks kind of rough, because I had to center drill and drill down through the tap. But it is there. The rollers are 600 thousandths. It's four inches from middle, so half of that would be 300 thousandths easy. So altogether it'd be 4.6. Five ten thousandths off. That's not bad. Um, what I did, I took a drill bit and just drilled down through here. I did layout lines on this side and drilled four inches apart. Then just kept stepping them up. Drilled it in so that it set really close to four inches just kept measuring over and over again and eventually when I got it all done up and cleaned up and everything I took a file and filed away just little bits here and there to get it right on 4.6 so that it's dead on accurate so now center points are exactly four inches Yeah. Now all that's left to do is just take, clean it up, go over, and do a finishing pass. Because it's not going to be perfect doing it this way. I think I'm about five thousandths off from side to side. And just take a pass across the top so that it will be parallel to the bottom of the rollers. I'll get it set up in the shaper and be back. Now to whittle the top down to get parallel to the bottom, or to the rollers, and we're good to go. Get a little oil here. And call it. This stuff is seriously hard stuff, so it's wanting to chatter. Thank you. 
step over it needs to go up a little bit. I'll rough this out and come back. If I put my finger on the clapper box, it gets rid of the chatter for the most part. Just take care, get rid of some of the vibration. Okay, I got it cleaned up, everything lapped, had a little bit of a mark left from the tool digging in the center somehow, but it, you can't even feel it. I checked it and it is parallel across the top with the indicator and it is parallel from end to end. So, I think that's good enough. I had to heat it up a little bit to get the tap to try turning it out and it didn't end up, it just made it really soft and I drilled through it. Because I broke a tap off in this side here. Trying to tap the hole through. So, okay, I'm gonna call it. Thanks for watching, see ya. And a side note, hydraulic press is finished and in the shop. Looks pretty good in black. <laughs>